Hi, Cancer. My beautiful friends, welcome to the to the table. It's wonderful to have you here. I'm so happy to be here. Let's go ahead and dig in and see what's here for this coming week. Um, this res this reading could resonate with anyone who has uh, Cancer strongly in their chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Let's go ahead and connect in now to Cancer. Emperor in Reverse. Two of Wands. Seven of Cups. Ooh. High Priestess. What was that one? We have the Page of Pentacles kind of making a little, making herself known just a little bit. Queen of Cups. world energy the sun how nice Let's get these. look at this I mean the middle row oftentimes and these are usually like the moving parts, um, but the middle row looks really nice. Um, Eight of Wands, I love it. Six of Cups. Oh gosh, Cancer, this looks kind of nice. Um, you are, <laughs> Cancer, um, as you're moving into this week, you are busy. Busy, busy, busy. Uh, I think you're excited about what you're doing. I think you're in action back and forth. Uh, things are around you are changing all the time. I just feel like you're in this space. I think you're really enjoying it. I think it's fun for you to be in this space. Um, and there's definitely uh, communications going back and forth or you're going back and forth. You know, um, there's action. There's optimism. There's uh, things are getting done. There, there, It's just fun. I think it's very fun and it feels good and it's full of health and well-being and it's good i feel that here um, that said there's such an interesting th thing happening around you because we have the emperor in reverse and this is usually your energy this is usually the first energy that's here is how i read it is usually the energy of the sign i'm reading for so there's something that you're just letting flow, Cancer. What you try to control before, what you try to make rules about, or you try to bring it into some sort of efficiency, or you try to make it, um, you know, you try to do it like the good book says, you know, whatever it is, the manual at work, um, whatever, whatever that good book is, you know, you've tried to do it that way. And I feel, Cancer, uh, in, in this, uh, in this week, whatever it was that you were, so strong about before or so rigid about or you tried so hard to do it it's like it's free flowing now you're you're just saying you know what i'm not going to control it anymore i'm not going to try to make it happen happen a certain way i'm just going to like it let it all take place and it does seem like there's a release of control. Now, I don't know, Cancer. I just think it's been taken out of your, or you've realized that it wasn't worth it, or it was taken out of your control. Like, you didn't have to, you don't have to worry about it anymore. Maybe this situation that you were trying to control and try to keep within certain parameters, maybe that is just sort of all, all withered away. And now in this week, and as you move through the week, you can just... Let every everything happen as it is just going to happen. This is like moving from a controlled space to a very natural, organic space. Um, in in the in the middle of it all is the Queen of Cups. You know, this is a feminine Cancer energy, feminine area, uh, feminine Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Uh, whether this is whether this is you or not, we do have a feminine energy here. Uh, who is very much a part of this. And um, I think she's been involved in some sort of conversation, um, conversation connected to the Eight of Wands. She could be busy doing something, but she's very much involved here. Um, and I, I f almost feel like these, this could be a, a different person. Um, and I could be reading from a masculine perspective, which is really interesting. Um, well, that's because we had the emperor. So, um, 
Let me go into the Queen of Cups. Tell me more about this Queen of Cups. Tell me more about this Queen of Cups. Tell me more about this Queen of Cups. Strength energy. I, I just feel like this Queen of Cups has been through something um, that was that took a lot of patience. It took a lot of time. It took a lot of gentleness. Uh, there's a situation here that that there is a um, a patience. There is a gentleness. There is a um, intentional softening of the communications. Intentional softening of the actions that are taken. All of a sudden, like there's not such a need to control everything and to be so intense. Like it, there, it's just a, it's softening. The situation is softening. And I think for this Queen of Cups, she really is very intentional. Intention, her intention and her the work that she's doing here, uh, the conversations she's having, the relationship she's in, um, whether it's with a spouse or with a lover, and spouse lover, same thing sometimes. Um, not all the time, um, whether it's children, whatever she's doing, uh, the Queen of Cups, those conversations she's having and the way she's looking at her situation, she really is understanding that this is something that is, is flowing naturally now and she is in a very strong caretaking position of her own actions and her own behavior and her own words to make sure that she cares for the situation um, in a very gentle way. Um, all, all around, though, um, it are changes because we have um, a decision to be made, a decision to be made. And I don't know if there are, there's communications here uh, about this, but, but the Queen of Cups is connected in um, Cancer um, to this Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands, And many of you, this is like the same person here, I have to say. Many of you are in action, um, in a flurry of action, um, allowing something to happen now where you are moderating your own actions and your behavior. And this is all, all just one person. For others of you, this Queen of Cups is a different person. So you're going to have to, you know, if it resonates, you'll know if it resonates. But, you know, this this Queen of Cups is going to come in here a little bit differently for other people. I notice there's a little bit of scattering of energy here. There's groups of people here connecting in to the Queen of Cups, this feminine water energy, um, a little bit differently. But that's really what I'm getting here. Ultimately, there is a decision here to be made. How to do this? What is the strategy? How do we handle this? What actions do we take? Because ultimately, whatever is happening here, it does require cancer to continue to, to stay in, in the, um, in that lane or in like this situation is flowing forward. Here's the world energy. It's flowing forward. Uh, there's also an opening to this situation. There's something new here, something beautiful, something bigger than than maybe the the queen of cups has realized before whatever is happening this is a situation that is uh, has a very dynamic quality to it and it is opening up new perspectives it's opening up new pathways it's just opening up the world for cancer really opening up the world for cancer i have to say the world is in the center connected to the eight of wands Okay, Cancer, and I'm getting excited here, but how can I help it? We have the Eight of Wands, the world energy with the sun, with the emperor in reverse. Like, this is just a beautiful stream of, of water flowing in the in a direction, and it's beautiful, and it's, and it's connecting into um, to other streams of water, and those streams of water are providing strength and providing um, a, a glorious new beginning. I just, it's just very poetic and beautiful. Um, and I, whatever's happening here, there is a decision to be made about what to do about this because this is sweeping you along with it. Um, and I don't think you're complaining at all. It's just something that's happening. You're going along with it and it's also impacting you. It is a little bit, uh, it is a little bit convoluted. It's something that could be somewhat confusing, Cancer. It's somewhat confusing. I, I really do think like the Queen of Cups is really, um, in this because it's part of her life, but she's also trying to figure out like, where does she stand? What is she supposed to do? Uh, how is she supposed to deal with this? This is maybe more surprising, um, more open, more, you know, more information than maybe she was really um, understanding originally where she, and maybe that's why she had such a hard time with this emperor energy because that there was probably something going on here that she didn't fully comprehend. And then she was trying to make it work and trying to be successful. But there was a situation that was growing and blossoming around her. And now she's, uh, caught, and now it's not caught up in it, but she's, 
she's flowing in that stream and experiencing a part of that. Um, and I feel like for her, this is a situation I feel that's going on around you possibly. Uh, you might be a participant in this, but this, there's other people here and this situation could be stemming from some other person. That's what it feels like. It's like a one-off or there, there's like, uh, different layers of people here. You're excited though, and I think you're staying busy and staying optimistic. Let's go into the Two of Wands. Let's go into the Two of Wands here. Tell me more about this strategy or this change and decision decision making process about what to do. What to do? Now this is just a weekly reading, so um, you know it's a, probably a conversation that takes place or um, just something that you're doing throughout the week that just grows and grows and it's there's an, a surprising effect and I think it in many ways like uh it's it's something that is more than you thought it was going to be and I think it's all in a in a positive way uh this decision this this I almost feel like it's a surprise I feel it's a surprise I feel like the window that was once closed with the curtains down, the windows open and the curtains are up and like the wind is blowing through. It just feels like that. And it's connected in with the Queen of Swords. This is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So there's someone here who's strongly intimidating. Someone here that has a strong message. Someone here that believes in what they're, what they're saying. They believe themselves and they believe in what they're saying. Right? And they're coming forward with some sort of strong statement. Something that they're defending, something that, you know, there's somebody here that's in defense of something that they're doing. I feel like this Queen of Swords is connected, is part of why the Emperor is in reverse. And I feel like this Queen of Swords is probably the person here um, that is a part of this whole story. I Okay, one more. Let's get one more card here. This Two of Wands. Knight of Wands. I mean, she's just quick. She's fast. She's passionate. She has something that she really believes in. She's fearless at this point. Uh, she's got her plan and she's moving forward. She might not have thought about everything, right? Here's the thing about the, about the, um, the, the Knight of Wands. She might not have thought about everything. She might not have thought about all the little details. She might not have thought about the money. She might not have thought about how long it's going to take or the work that is going into it, but she believes in it and she's passionate about it. And there's something that she's doing here for humanity or for something is greater than herself. When the Queen of, when the Queen of Swords gets into this kind of fierceness with the fire, Queen of Swords, air with fire. Something is about ready to take off. And she's passionate about it. She's fluent about it. She she knows what she is and she knows how to communicate. And I think for the Queen of Cups, that's kind of a challenge, honestly. Now, is the Queen of Cups complaining? Absolutely not. I don't think she's complaining a bit. I think she has her own way of looking at it. I think she has her own things that she's saying. And I think that there is a conversation here. But uh, I think there's a real beautiful gentleness that comes from the Queen of Cups. Um, I think she understands this is something that's very important, very important to the Queen of Swords. And she may not even know really what to say, but that's what this strength and moderating of the self in this moment of, um, a, of a blossoming, uh, a situation that's really blossoming and growing in its importance, in its importance. The world energy, new horizons, new information, um, new glory, right? It's it's just something that is inspiring and big. Now, Cancer, as you move forward through the end of the week, and now I'm making this really dramatic, aren't I? But I think for so many of you, this is going to be somewhat of a dramatic week. It's going to have some drama in it. And as you move to the last half of the week, you're moving into the Six of Cups. I mean, you're really embodying this, um, this, the, the, what it means to be a family member. You're embodying what it means to be a soulmate, to be um, a rooted person, a rooted into a community, or rooted into a family, or rooted into a. Um, uh, uh, rooted into a relationship with someone who is very, very close and very dear to you. So you really are embodying that. It's a very healing presence that you have. It's a, it is a, um, you are in many ways representing the family in some way 
Cancer, you are representing the greater family, the, the soulmate, what, whatever this connection is with the Six of Cups, you are standing in representation of that. You are claiming it for your own and you're standing in that energy and, and standing wholly in front of it. So there's something here that you find to be so very important about these changes. And this Six of Cups connects in with the world and connects in with the sun. So whatever is happening here is bringing a great um, opening or strengthening a great power. It's it's like the um, I it it is the it's the best thing ever. It's what you've always asked for. Okay, now I'm getting into the emotions of it. It's what you've always dreamt of. It's what you always asked for. It's the solution to so many issues and so many challenges. And it comes in in such a profound, powerful way. In many ways, I think cancer, it heals your heart. It heals you. It heals the family. It heals the community. It has so many healing properties. Now, what's going to happen? I think you're wondering what is going to happen. What, 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 where can this go and what's going to happen with this? And what would I like to happen? And I think that you are like, while this is all very beautiful and significant, I think in many ways, it's like leaves a lot of questions like where, what's going to happen of this situation? Where is this going to go? This is maybe bigger than I thought it was going to be or more potent than I thought it was going to be, or it inspires me a lot more than I thought it would. Like, it's almost like it's a secret that has come out of nowhere, or it's, it, once the control, once, once the control was lifted, I feel like this situation really lifted up and opened up, and, and, you know, there's a Pandora's box here that was open, but what inside, what was in, what in, I can't even talk, um, that which was inside, um, was the sun. As you're moving out of this week, you definitely are connecting into uh, the high priestess energy. There's something here that you are, uh, I feel like this high priestess might be a different, this high priestess is, is who is connecting. I think this high priestess could be, um, the high priestess could be the queen of swords that we saw here with this decision. I feel like there is a person here. I feel like this is a connecting into the high priestess. There is a healing, a great healing and an empowerment um, and, a, and a beautiful solution, a beautiful answer coming connected into the high priestess. Now the high priestess is someone who has um, a, a certain quality about her. She is somewhat, um, she has her own system. She has her own way of thing, way of thinking about things. She has even perhaps her own understanding of what it is that she believes in. She has a special connection. She has a special connection to the heavens. She has a special connection within herself. She finds a lot of her own guidance from within. Now, the, the high priestess is often someone who is um, somewhat secluded. She is many times in her own bubble or in her own life. She doesn't maybe need to have um, guidance for that person and guidance for that person. And, you know, and, and she, she doesn't have a clinginess. She has an independence to her. She has an independence to her. She has a mystery to her. And she has, and she usually is quiet. She's quiet, but she has her ways of connecting into success, connecting into abundance, and connecting into a, um, a, a very mysterious kind of empowerment. And here there is the sun connected into the high priestess. So there is a truly a, um, a, a success coming in, a reward coming in, maybe even a, a, um, a great healing coming in, connected in with this high priestess. And I do think, again, is probably that queen of swords. Now, Cancer, I do believe that when you are um, moving through this week, I think this also helps you to connect into who you are. I think um, that you, in many ways, mirror the high priestess. You mirror the high priestess and you um, 
find within yourself some of the qualities that that really are um relieving relieving to your to your um to your concern i think it you also grow in your own faith and you grow in your own um understanding and i think it does bring a sense of quiet and peace um, and a sense of fulfillment to who you are and what you believe so while this is something that is expansive and exciting and and maybe bigger than you thought it's also something that's going to help you um to connect in to what your belief system is to what your inner being is is saying into your intuition and in many ways this gives you a lot of confidence as you move out of the week now i'm being dramatic but i do feel like did i say this already i do feel like this is somewhat dramatic this is something that's that's going to going to like pump your heart it's something that's going to affect how you feel about your family or how you feel about your people. It's going to affect that. It's going to give you a sense of ownership over it, uh, um, a proudness, a, a dignity, uh, honor. It's going to give you those kinds of qualities. And ultimately it brings in such beautiful healing and a new opportunity and horizons being lifted and expanded. How is it going to be as it moves forward? <laughs> I don't, I, cancer, I don't know if you're in control of that. I think you're wondering about that. Well, I think you're also wondering what should you do? What should you do about this? How should you respond? Like all of a sudden it's like, oh boy. Um, I don't know if I know how to deal with this. Is it bad? No, it's not bad. It's beautiful. But, you know, even beautiful and exciting change brings you know, decisions to make. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I don't see you making any decision. I see you, your heart center healing. I see you reconnecting with the high priestess in a, in a really, um, in a, in a really beautiful way. But I don't see any decisions that are actually needing to be made. Maybe there's no decision to be made. Maybe the queen of cups thinks she has to make a decision. Maybe th she thinks that she needs to be a part of, of the decision-making process, but really maybe by the end of the week, that isn't really even necessary. It is an organic flow. And maybe the Queen of Cups has a little bit of a hard time letting go with um, the control that she has um, had to try to bring this along in, in a better way. You know, the Queen of Cups is there to really help um, to bring in well-being and nurturing into a family and she sometimes does that using control that's how the feminine yin is the feminine yin does appreciate a little bit of control but in this situation she's really had to release it and as she releases it i think she's going to have a few more stumbling blocks as she like like okay uh, yeah i'm releasing oh shit yeah i'm releasing it aren't i oh <laughs> it's like a change it's like a change for the queen of cups Oh, yeah, I don't have to decide. Oh, I don't have to make a big, hard decision. I can just relax about this. But, you know, that's kind of hard. That's hard. I think the Queen of Cups really cares about this situation. I think the Queen of Cups really cares about this situation a lot. And I think her heart has been in it. Her mind has been in it. I think she's been concerned about it. Uh, the Emperor wasn't here just because... Um, you know, it's fun to, to be in the Emperor energy. It's not fun to be in the Emperor energy, especially for a feminine. It's not fun. It's hard. It could be fun, I guess. But I think in this situation, it was hard. It might not even even have been what the Queen of Cups wanted to do in the first place. So I think, Cancer, this is going to be um, a victory week. I really do. I think it's going to open up some sort of perspective, bring in some beautiful betterment in, into, this, into this family or into this friendship or um, wh whoever the, however these people are connected. And, uh, and by the time this week is over, I think that there is something beautiful happening in here, happening in here, <laughs> happening up in here, <laughs> something beautiful happening here that wasn't expected. Um, and it's maybe different than what uh, I think clearly it's different than what cancer, than what you, that, than what you originally thought. So, oh, it's beautiful week, cancer, beautiful week. I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm looking forward um, to seeing how this moves forward. So I am ready to move now to the extended reading. Uh, I will um, dig into some of these cards when we get over there. I want to dig into the sun. 
I want to dig into this high priestess. I want to dig into the queen of cups. I'm going to dig into a whole bunch of stuff here. And we're also going to look at money and love. I'll pull some cards up for money and I'll pull some cards for love. All right, Cancer. Thank you very much for being here. It's always a pleasure to read for you. What an exciting week. I wish you all the best and um, stay strong, stay well, and don't get sick. All right. Thank you.